Okay guys, now that you're done registering your domain, it's time to move on to the fun stuff. Time to move on to web hosting, okay? Now don't get confused by web hosting. This is something you need to take charge of. You need to familiarize yourself with this and you need to understand what happens, okay? So let's just explain web hosting for you and let's get this started, okay? So what is web hosting? So you already got your domain name. Okay, this is your domain name. Let's just put a plus sign here. Now, the next thing you need to do is get hosting. Okay, those are servers in a hosting company somewhere where you need to get registered. Okay, your host, your domain name needs to be connected with your server. All right, and you need to get the best possible server ever that's going to handle your loads. Okay, now. Once your website is added on to your server, then you have something for your members to view. Okay, this is where your website comes in place. This is how you get your website set up. All right. So let's just review this again. First, you have your domain name, which you already bought. Now you need to find the best possible server that's gonna handle this okay your domain name is just the name your server is where all your files go on to what handles your website where your website will be hosted and what delivers the final content over here which is the website you have sending traffic to okay now let's just go back to web hosting and the difference between web hosting okay if you click the link below you'll get sent to our favorite hosting company which is called HostGator and I'll explain why it's our favorite hosting company um, you don't get confused by HostGator okay they have cheap plans if you look if that's what you're looking for but cheap is not the way to go if you start an online business you should invest in the best invest in something that won't crash and invest in something that's gonna last you a long time and it's easy to manage our point on this website here is easy to manage and that's what we'll show you okay so web hosting this is the cheapest one and this is one I definitely don't recommend this is a server as we showed you before okay web hosting is something we don't recommend because it's the cheapest one and most of this is shared it's on a shared server and the load is not much good you don't get much space so the one we recommend is reseller hosting but we'll get back to that VPS hosting is kind of like a dedicated server which gives you your own server if we get back here remember the server where you put your load on your traffic on this is your website okay this is your hosting company this is your server basically what a shared server is it will take your website and put it on here okay that's your server and this same system here could have many different servers on it many different websites on it okay you don't want this this is very bad we're gonna move on to the reseller account okay this is what you want the reseller account the cheapest account HostGator has is 25 bucks and this is a very good investment I highly urge you to get this if you want to get your your website started and the benefits this has is you have full control of your website you could add as much domain names as you want and basically be happy with this a hosting server only gives you one domain it this is not a good plan for you it's it's not the best option space is very limited bandwidth is very limited I suggest you move on to reseller hosting choose the lowest option or whatever best fits your needs I would start with this you could upgrade at any time the most important thing of this is you get your own servers you get WHM which is a admin panel which we'll explain in a later video you get cPanel and everything you need for your hosting so you could click the link below to navigate your reseller accounts when you're done click the next video and we'll show you how to get your domain hooked up to the server okay